Weather First with meteorologist Joshua Rivas. All right, good Tuesday, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your Tuesday. Another warm day. Temperatures in the mid 80s. We actually reached the upper 80s yesterday. And Sarah said 87 was the high. We could be close to that number again before the sea breeze moves in later on this afternoon. For tonight, we'll end up pleasant again. Temperatures on the cool side. It will be warm in the afternoon with temperatures back in the mid 80s for tomorrow and into Thursday. On Friday, we'll have a few more clouds and even a rain chance, although the shower activity looks to be scattered in nature. Again, does not look to be a high rain chance, nor does everyone look to get the rain. For the weekend, we'll start out with a slight rain chance, I mean very slight, on Saturday before the front moves out. And then by the end of the day on Saturday, going into Sunday, we'll end up with more sunshine, partly cloudy skies, but still remaining warm. We're not looking at a major cool down behind this front that comes through on the weekend. Let's take a look at the water vapor imagery again, looking at the mid to upper level atmospheric moisture, upper level low spinning here, sending in moisture uh, towards Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, Ohio Valley for today. Different uh, it was over Houston and a lot of moisture, uh, very moist area yesterday, a little bit less moist uh, as it streams in from the south. Much better news for Houston today as some drier air moving in from the west. We have plenty of dry air across our state. Uh, we will gladly send it to them because they need the dry air after the flooding yesterday. Upper level low again begins to move off towards the northeast over time. Uh, upper level ridge begins to weaken. Trough coming down just a little bit, not very deep. Again, we're not expecting a major cool down. The trough is easily gone by next Monday and then we'll be back into the warmth and mild conditions for the beginning half of next week. For dry for today, for tomorrow and Thursday as well. Again, you can see here, the, here comes the front moving off from west to east. So the moisture increases very quickly on Friday. Then by the end, of the, day, the end of the day on Saturday, dry air is back in place and going into Sunday as well. More partly cloudy though. And again, we're not expecting a major cool down coming in behind this front. We're starting off relatively cool and nice for today and for tomorrow morning. And then as we go into the afternoons, still warm 80s to the foreseeable future. Not looking at an extended forecast showing off a cool down with temperatures in the 70s. Looks like the 80s are here to stay as we begin to make our way towards the summertime uh, later on in May. Otherwise, uh, cooler temperatures well towards our north. We stay mild all the way into the end of the weekend. Temperatures for today on the warm side in the mid 80s overall, except right along the I-75 corridor, maybe a few upper 80s, 86 in Liquid Ranch. And in Northport, overall pretty warm day under partly cloudy skies. Partly cloudy for tonight, but still cool. Managing some mid-50s inland to the low 60s right along the coastline. Marine forecast rest of today. Green flag is out. Partly cloudy skies, lighter winds, seas around 2 feet, and a light chop out there. Temperatures in the low 80s. Same thing for the beaches. Winds light as well. Surf 1 to 2 feet in the UV index. Very high. Make sure you have that sunscreen handy with you. 70 forecast temperatures uh, on the warm side for the short term. And I mean, it's still going to be pretty warm, but we're talking about warmer for the first half of the forecast period. And then for the weekend, maybe some low 80s back in the forecast. There's that rain chance on Friday, not all that high. And then next week, take out the rain chance again, remain partly cloudy temperatures back in the mid 80s. Lows coming up or at least staying in the mild category as we go into next week. Another web weather updates coming up later on today.